They're breaking for the tunnel! They're shooting everyone in sight! Jesus, it's like getting swarmed by locusts. Don't let the bullshit like that. It's gotta have significant value. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure you'll figure something out. If you want this bad enough. Look, I don't do sentimental. But you got me out of a jam there, so thanks. But I know you want more from me than just warm fuzzies for saving my sorry ass. Like getting this shit all up to par. Oh, government standard, I see. Nice to see they're still keeping the bar low enough that even roaches can walk right over it. You want quality? You go private. That's what I learned in Basra. Oh, yeah. City can't just live on farts and good intentions. Power, water, all the bells and whistles. Not that you're the first one to try it. I hear a bunch of you people went missing when the shit hit the fan. Got some theories about that myself. My point is, when you're out there hooking up the city, poke around a bit, see what you can find out. Maybe the virus got him. Maybe the brutes got him. Maybe the city opened up its rotten core and swallowed them whole. I'd believe that. It's happened before. Fucking city got my wife. Miracle I'm still here, really. You know they say a pessimist is a disillusioned romantic? Well. Whoever said that's a fucking asshole. Go on. See what you can find out. I'll let you know which shit to hook up. Careful this fucking city doesn't eat you too. Get to work. Yep, this should do nicely. Good work, Agent.
about time. Now we got a proper control room. To monitor the infrastructure, heat, water, electricity. Good call, Agent. Well, look who it is. Thanks for getting me out of the garden. I've been in some hostile work environments before, but Jesus. Of course, it's not like this place is gonna win any prizes either. Antique equipment, zero staff, patients lining up out the door. This isn't gonna cut it. We're doing the best we can, Dr. Candle. Any suggestions you might have, I'm happy to listen. I know, I know, beggars, choosers, all that crap. What matters is beating this thing, but I can't do that without knowing more about it. And here's a good place to start. Sarah is pretty sure Dr. Gordon Amherst had something to do with the outbreak. God. That asshole. Saw him present a paper at Columbia once, he nearly started a riot. He's part of this? I need to talk to him. Anything of his you can find. Notebooks, laptops, close personal friends, I need that too. And we need to talk about live samples and antibodies. You're gonna be busy. And you'll be? Fixing this. Saving lives. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll get started. Looks perfect. I can't thank you enough. But I will bring you something from my wine rack. Now that's what I call an improvement, Agent. You should charge more. Finally, a clinic. Gotta start somewhere. We've got enough staff to start tending to the public, but we've got our work cut out for us. Excellent. Now we can provide proper care for all these kids and babies. Not to mention the pregnant women. At last. This crisis counseling center is very important. The physical health of the city is one thing, but we've got to address the mental trauma as well. Hey! Hey. Come on over. Captain Benita's even found some fresh coffee. Uh, I just happened to walk by what's left of Kerman's. So what we're responsible for is Midtown to Lower Manhattan, mainly because nobody can get off of this island right now, including us. And the biggest problem we have is manpower, or lack thereof. Right now we got criminal elements occupying and controlling most of these neighborhoods. Rikers, cleaners, street gangs. Yeah, I don't have enough people to secure a block, much less maintain order and safety, so... 
Basically, these assholes are running around taking whatever they want and killing whoever they want because we got nobody to stop them. Which means we get the task of cleaning up these neighborhoods so we can at least get food and medical aid to the residents. I don't know. I mean, an area this size, this many bad guys, I don't think you people can handle it alone. I mean, no offense. I just don't like the idea of throwing you to the wolves. Captain, we are the wolves. Right. Well... Then maybe you can convince the division to send more of your guys. For the time being, what you see is what you get. I can't believe I'm begging the feds to take over my city. Any intel we receive, you'll be the first to know. Good luck. You'll need it. Now we're cooking with gas. You are hereby officially my go-to agent for classing to join up. Gotta love it. Finally getting a facility to expand our canine unit. This will help us find civilians who might be trapped or locate military stashes. Sweet. Looks like we got ourselves a regular situation room. We can plan ops for all of Midtown from here. You're gonna be real popular when word gets out. The recharge center will let civilians power up the devices. Don't mess up.
I'll be in touch. Let's get back to it. Morning. You are now leaving the safe area. We, meaning Dr. Candle, need you to secure the Hudson Rail Yards area. The yards have become a tent city for the destitute and desperate. The people forced out of every place else end up here. What we're looking for is blood samples from those refugees. Clean ones, sick ones, and ones who might have survived the dollar flu for Dr. Candle to work her magic on. So if you secure the site, we can do the rest. Look out there. Agent, it's Dr. Candle. I want to stress to you the vital importance of safeguarding any civilians you may come across. The math says some of those people must have survived the dollar flu. That means they've got antibodies to it that I need to have a hope in hell of fighting this thing. And the ones who are just sick, having a broader genetic diversity of virus samples will help us track the virus's rate of mutation. Which is a long way to say, keep those people alive until I get what I need from them. Got that? Great. Echo available for playback nearby.
Got carrying. Agent, you need to hear this. Faye tells me the cleaners are holding the entire tent city prisoner. That's what it looks like, and it fits the cleaner MO. If you wanted to eradicate every last vestige of detectable virus, where would you go? Wherever the biggest concentrations are. Refugee camps, shanty towns. Jesus, you don't think they'd... Draconian solution, but highly effective. Sure, if you're a genocidal maniac. You ever wonder if we even deserve to survive this thing? Every day, Doctor. Every day. Good luck, Agent. Warning. Contamination levels increasing. You hear that, Agent? You're walking into the teeth of it now. Don't forget what I said about keeping any infected refugees alive. I mean, obviously you're gonna try and keep them all alive, but I need those virus samples, and I really need viable antibody samples from survivors. So, keep them extra alive, I guess. You know what I'm saying. I'm going back to work now. Candle, out.